In today's video, we're covering something that's changing the way developers work, the Docker MCP Toolkit. If you're new to MCP, it stands for Model Context Protocol, a standard that lets AI agents securely connect to real tools like databases, documentation systems, and APIs. And Docker, earlier this year, released the MCP Catalog and Toolkit inside Docker Desktop, a management interface that lets you set up manage and run containerized MCP servers and connect them to your AI agents. It also provides a CLI for server management. Now, I really think this is the easiest way to get started with MCPs to supercharge my agents, especially since I can find popular MCP servers and set it up easily with just a few clicks and run them securely in a sandbox runtime environment. And there are a lot of servers. So in this video, I'm giving you my top five MCP servers that can automate a huge chunk of your engineering workflow. So let's take a look. The Docker MCP catalog is a centralized, trusted registry for discovering, sharing, and running MCP compatible tools. Integrated with Docker Hub, it offers verified, versioned, and curated MCP servers packaged as Docker images. The catalog is also available in Docker Desktop. Local MCP servers are containerized applications that run directly on your machine. All local servers are built and digitally signed by Docker, providing enhanced security through verified provenance and integrity. These servers run as containers on your local environment and function without internet connectivity once downloaded. The Docker MCP catalog also supports over 60 remote MCP servers with OAuth built in. Need database access? There's a server for that. Need to research using specifically Wikipedia? There's a server for that. And best part, you install these servers with just one click, like right over here. No config nightmares. And you can see a list of your servers under the My Servers tab. Now that I have the wiki server enabled, adding it to an agent is easy. For example, I have Claude Desktop installed. And if we go to settings, under connectors, there's nothing currently connected. If we go to the clients tab, and simply click connect right next to Claude Desktop, client connected to the MCP toolkit. So I'll just need to restart Claude and now when we check our settings for connectors, there's MCP Docker. So if I start a new chat, I can leverage the Docker MCP server for Wikipedia by simply asking a question like this. What's Muhammad Ali's boxing record from Wikipedia? And you could tell that it used the MCP server by checking out the request and the response. But now let's turn our attention to the top five MCP servers. Starting at number five is Context 7, which gives your AI agent instant access to accurate, up-to-date code documentation for your projects. So instead of your model guessing function definitions or hallucinating API specs, Context 7 feeds it real information. With Context 7, you're able to use it for features like generating documentation, explaining code blocks, understanding large, unfamiliar repositories. It's perfect for onboarding, refactoring, or just maintaining sanity on large teams. Our fourth MCP server on our list is MongoDB, which is an open source, no SQL database known for its flexibility, scalability, and JSON-like document structure. In the Docker MCP toolkit, using it would allow you to connect to a MongoDB database, inspect collections and documents, run and filter queries, aggregate and analyze data, and explore relationships between nested objects. Coming in at number three is Fetch, which is used for web content fetching and conversion and efficient LLM usage. The server enables LLMs to retrieve and process content from web pages, converting HTML to Markdown for easier consumption. 
Fetch is one of the most versatile servers in the toolkit. And while it does one thing extremely well, which is to fetch a URL and return a clean markdown, you could use this power to pull blog posts, read documentation, analyze GitHub readmes, grabbing API specs, and ingesting research pages. At number two, we have Playwright, which is an open source testing framework by Microsoft for automating web browsers. It's used to test web apps across Chrome, Firefox, and WebKit with a single API. In the Docker MCP toolkit, this server could be used for navigating to sites, filling forms, running UI tests, scraping data, taking screenshots, validating layouts, and much more. It's like having an automated QA assistant right there by your side. And at number one, we have GitHub the platform for hosting and collaborating on code using Git version control and lets developers manage projects, track changes, and work together through repositories and pull requests. In the MCP toolkit, the GitHub server turns your AI agent into a real collaborator on your repositories. With it, it allows you to create and manage issues, draft and summarize pull requests, review repo activity, generate change logs for commits, and quickly pull metadata about files and branches. And a lot more as you can see here. So with these five servers, Context7, MongoDB, Fetch, Playwright, and GitHub, you've covered documentation, database access, research, browser automation, and repo and issue management, which would be a huge part of the daily developer workflow. And the best part is you don't have to build any of these. Docker MCP Toolkit gives it to you all within one click. This is the future of using AI and engineering leveraging agent skills that connect directly to real tools. And the best part is that our catalog keeps growing. So visit the MCP toolkit often. So those are five very popular MCP servers in the Docker MCP catalog that I wanted to share. Now, let me know in the comments, what are your top five and what has your experience been using them? If you want a little bit more insight on how the MCP toolkit came to be and a quick walkthrough using one of the servers, check out this video here. And as always, if you got value out of this, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.